get a feeling that this this energy that's here really wants to be uh, likes it here because it's oh yes Diane out quiet. It's saying yes yes yes, yes. yes. He likes it because it's very quiet it's um, this is a, a person who likes crowds it isn't a person who likes you know yeah he's saying yeah. he's agreeing with me okay flash. um thank you for for agreeing with us. I just want you to know that we're not here to invade your space in any way. We're not here to make you leave. We're just here to understand who you are so we can set up some communication um, and to figure out you know, why you're here so that Malcolm can have an idea. Um, yeah, you're happy about that. Okay, so you like Malcolm. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Hey, ask him some questions. Yeah. Okay. Look at him, he's answering me. Right oh, look now. At that. Yes. He's responding to me. Why don't you ask a question? You know you want Do you like pulling the covers off of me every night? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You like that, huh? Okay. I thought you did. All right. Um, you only do it every night. <laughs> so, are you having fun? Do you need help? Okay. Are you here because of some of these artifacts that are here? Are you here because you used to live well, here? Said yes to the artifact. Okay. No, yes. He was here long before I got here with him. Yeah. Okay. So he, well, there's right more. Here, there's more than one. Right here. There's two of them. I know. There's more than one. Yes. Okay. Let me ask you: Is there how many people are here? Can you tell us? Is there more than five? Light the lights. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. A lot more than five. All right, Malcolm. I want you to watch this. This is your answers. Um, are there more than? Are there more than ten? Light up the lights. Okay, so there's, yes? No. Are yours lighting up? Okay. All right, so there's, is there? It's only about halfway, are there 10 exactly? Are Fam there 10? Family or tribe. Or family or tribe. Is there a family or a tribe here? Oh yeah. Okay, so they're answering yes. Okay, so. Have you guys migrated to this area? Was this a place of, um, in your history that you used to live? Was this your land? No. Flash. Was this your land that you used to live on? Mm-hmm. They're saying yes. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. They're saying it yes. Really okay. I'm sitting right for that camera. Is is Malcolm someone that you feel is part of your tribe? Okay. Do you feel that he is honoring Native Americans and you like that? And so you're here with him? Okay. Are you just here living? Are you just here on your own land? One eagle, they're following you, so when you're walking away, they're going over there. <laughs> you want to come back over here and talk to them? <laughs> Carol, I think you were better when you were sitting down. Okay, I just was blocking that camera down the hall. No, 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 you're not blocking unless you're standing in front. Am I speaking to Buddy? Sorry, do I ready to block them? Okay. Yeah. Buddy, are you here? <coughs> Buddy, what happened here? I feel like there's something that happened to you here. Was it a a a, a bad event? Yeah, something happened. Okay, he's responding over there. Um. James, are you able to capture that from where you are? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Buddy, can you please tell us what happened to you? That he was, came to a point of extreme stress, mm -hmm. to a point of no return, to a point that he didn't know what else to do. Yes. And he did something that he now regrets. He, you're, you're absolutely right. He's confirming that. Buddy. We're here to help you. 
We're going to do everything we can to help you. I want you to know that. You made a decision to handle your problems the way that you handled them. You know, all of us have been at that point in life. All of us have felt up against the wall at some point where we just didn't know what to do. And sometimes we make the wrong decision. Sometimes we just don't know what to do. Is that what happened to you? Do you want to do you want to talk to us about it? Are you are you are you ashamed or embarrassed about about it in any way? My left arm's hurting. It's really hurting. Going down my arm. My wrist. Did you give me a favor to ask you to bring yourself to move to the next level? That's why we're here. Because I, I, he may be stuck. I, that's what, I think that's he likes we're living here. here, but he, he may does. not even know he's gone yet. You know buddy, I'm sorry. Buddy, you know that um, Malcolm here is your friend. I mean, you, you, you know that he thinks a lot of... Um, but you have, let me see how I can say this, buddy. You are no longer alive here. You understand? You are stuck here. And yeah. being stuck here is not a, help, a happy condition. He understands. Because rarely can anyone hear you or see you. You have to go out of your way to be recognized. Mm -hmm. And even then, it's just a bare recognition um, of your presence. Um, and that's not really a, a great life. It's not much better than what, what you had when you were here. Um, I feel really bad for you that this is how you are living. I just want you to know that. We're here to help you. Malcolm doesn't want you to be stuck. We're not kicking you out by any means. But what no, I no, I don't want you to go if you don't want to. If you love it here, I don't mind. Because they've never showed me harm or negative. or I've never felt in any way like I was going to be harmed. You know, I've never okay. felt that. This is, this is the thing that I feel, okay. But also, I rule with an iron thumb too, buddy. They don't, they don't push me around either. Uh, this is what I feel, buddy. I feel like that um, if you were to cross into the light, that you would still be able to come back and visit, and you would be healed, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't still be remembering all the bad things that happened to you. It wouldn't still be affecting you, because really you haven't improved your situation whatsoever, have you? No. So what you're experiencing right now is still just as painful, almost as it was when you were alive. Am I correct? Are you frustrated? I know I know you feel friendly for Malcolm and, and he's a very welcoming person. But you know, you have a lot of loved ones that are that are waiting for you. And there's a beautiful light for you to go into. And I, I really want you to think about it and I don't want you to feel bad about what you did. I don't want you to be scared to go into the light, because I think that's what's holding you back. Buddy, are you scared to go into the light? Is that why you stayed here? Is it just more comfortable for you because it's somewhere you recognize? Why did you choose not to go? I, I feel ashamed. Yeah. I feel, I feel ashamed. He's, he's, he's afraid that when he goes over, he's going to be judged and ridiculed. Why? You need to know that it didn't happen over there. We want you to know that you're not going to be judged. That um, all of us are human. We've all made mistakes. Whatever you've done on the side is 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 gone. It's part of the growing experience. Why we come here? Because we learn things, and we learn a lot of times by the mistakes we made. <coughs> when we get to the other side, the people there have all been where you are, and they'll be compassionate. They're not there to judge you. They're there. You'll sense a lot more love than you felt here because people are supportive of each other there. 
Buddy, do you, you want to stay here with that? me? Can you reset that? If you uh, if you ask him to stay, then that's actually detrimental for him. <coughs> and I'm going to explain why. Because spirits that stay, so when they haven't crossed over and been healed, <coughs> suffer. I just don't want him to feel like I'm trying to get rid of him. But once they go, they can choose to come back and visit. Then the, then they're they're like they're that's healed. Free will. Free will, exactly. They're not trapped. It's right. free will. So exactly. um, that's why. Probably it would really help Malcolm if you would tell him that, that you're going to be okay with him going, letting him meet up on the other side with his loved ones, let, letting him be healed, letting him... He already knows that. You know. The last investigation we did the, the same good thing, and we asked him, do you want help? And he negated it. It was like negative. He didn't want help. He liked it here. So I, I, I kind of like, like, they asked me, he said, we can get him out of here if you really want him to go. I said, no, no, no. No, we're not going to push you out, no, buddy. No, yeah, That's don't push him out if you don't want to go. We're, we're not in any way here disrespectful. I don't want to make nobody mad. Um, <laughs> our, our group is very, is very special because we are very spiritual, and we're here to help heal you. We're not here to, um, to push you out. or you know, We came specifically just to talk to you. We came all this way just to talk to you. So anything you have to say, we're willing to hear. But I, I would really like to see you go um, into the light and be able to be healed, as all of us need to when we pass. We all need to cross into the light. Um, and then once we do that, and we heal for our time on the other side, we're able to come back and visit and see all of our loved ones, you know, check on them, come visit our friends, come place places that we like. Oh, yeah. um, you know, does, well, that sound, does that sound good to you? Yeah, he does like that. Okay. All right. So if, if you would have faith and believe in me, if you have faith and you believe in me and Carol right. and Winnie Gold and Faye and James and Malcolm, we're all telling you as a circle of love here that it's okay for you to go. That's in your best interest that you're going to feel so much better. And then we invite you to come back after that. And it actually gives you more freedom. No, What's your experience now? A lot okay. more freedom. <laughs> All right. Does that sound good? Is that a deal? Tell us about Buddy. Uh, he OD'd on alcohol and pills when he was 23. 